Well, starting from a square, you can make a triangular grid. Now, this square is folded from the largest size of A4 size paper, 21 centimeters. Find the midline. Now, fold through one corner and then place the other corner on the midline. This way, you will be folding 60 degree angles. These are 360 degree angles. Repeat the same from the other side. Fold from the other corner and you would see another set of 60 degree angles. If you open this, you will see a couple of equilateral triangles. Now fold the two slant lines and now fold them in the middle so as to get a parallel line, parallel fold in the middle. You can see this. Repeat this on the other side. Fold the left and the right and then put one edge on the other to get the middle fold. If you open the paper now, you would find a lot of equilateral triangles. There's only one last thing left, is to make cupboard folds. Shut the doors to the midline, the one at the bottom and one on the top. This is a simple cupboard fold. If you open this, you will find a grid consisting entirely of equilateral triangles. There are one too many equilateral triangles and now you need to eliminate them by folding and if you keep folding and reducing the number of triangles you can tuck one inside the other and finally you can fold a pyramid no glue no scissors this is the pyramid and you can have a peep from the bottom of the pyramid there are many ways of doing this and you can discover your own. Once again, take the triangular, equilateral triangle grid and reduce the triangles by folding and this time you fold a tetrahedron. In the end, there would be a triangular flap which would be tucked inside the pocket so it becomes a self-locked tetrahedron. This is a brilliant way of folding 3D shapes. No glue, no scissors, just a A4 size paper square. You can also make a octahedron. This is a great challenge. Enormous possibilities of folding 3D shapes with paper.